Ms. Rosie McCorley has, given, has been given leave to make a statement on amateur boxing world champion Mike, Michael Conlon, which fulfills the criteria set out in Standing Order 24. If other members wish to be called, they should do so by raising in their places and continuing to do so. All members called will have up to three minutes to speak on the subject. I would remind members that I will not take any points of order in this or any other matter until this item of business has finished. And I call Ms. McCorley. Uh, I can call you a new boy island in Spot Hollis occur or in Mage Intak, a Buena Market Michael Conlon, Dornley Oak, Ovel Ferris Shahir. Mr. Speaker, today I wish to highlight the fantastic achievement of Michael Conlon, a young boxer from West Belfast. He has become the first Irish male to win a Senior World Amateur Championship title when he brought home the gold medal from Doha a few days ago. And if we take a look at his career in boxing, it is clear that he's a very talented sportsman who has had a, a glittering career uh, up to this point. Since at the age of 11, he, uh, won a first Ulster, he won his first Ulster novice title. In the 2012 Olympics, he took a bronze medal, and in August uh, 14, he won the bantamweight gold at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. And earlier this year, he took gold at the European Championships and was named Boxer of the Tournament. As a result of his achievements this year, Michael has secured qualification for the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. So what a fantastic list of conquests for a young man of 23 years of age. Augustus Fiora Guru Athbumwinu Egdornliat Leblenta. Mr. Speaker, it's worth mentioning the fact that bo boxing has been underfunded here for years. Local clubs have been getting by using extremely poor facilities. Michael's own club, St John Bosco, for years survived without heating, water or changing facilities. It is to the credit of the current sports minister that boxing clubs have recently been to able to avail of funding to upgrade their facilities. So it's great to see that young upcoming boxers, for whom Michael Conlon is an excellent role model, can now train and develop in their sport in a much improved physical environment. In communities with high levels of deprivation, such as West Belfast, boxing is not just a sport, it can also be a lifesaver. It gives children a great interest from a very young age, increasing a sense of self-worth. It also encourages a sense of discipline, a focus on healthy living, and an enhancement of their physical and mental health. So there is much that is positive to be said about this story. I'm sure everyone in this assembly would be happy to join me today and congratulate and congratulating Michael Conlon on his great success. And I want to also mention that he is a proud former pupil of Corpus Christi College in West Belfast. We are very proud of him in West Belfast, and I'm sure everybody across the north would say the same. We're also proud of his teammates, and today our message to them is to go on and achieve even more greatness at the 2016 Olympics. And I call Mr. Alec Atwood. Mr. Speaker, and could I welcome uh, this matter of the day and uh, join also in congratulating Michael Conlon and his uh, family. Um, as has been said, it is an immense achievement uh, to win any world title in any sport at any time. But Michael Conlon is the first Irishman ever to win uh, on the world stage after 41 years of that tournament at the age of 23 and winning uh, each of the three rounds in his final bout. Um, in acknowledging uh, this son of Belfast, could I also acknowledge and applaud his teammates who also uh, won medals in the World Championships, uh, Joe Ward and Michael O'Reilly, uh, who controversially lost uh, his third playoff, his, his third uh, place bout and we hope that he will still qualify for the Olympics uh, next year. Could I also, Mr. Uh, Speaker, acknowledge the head coach, Billy Welch? Um, there is no group of sports persons uh, at any time in the history of our sport have achieved more on the Commonwealth, European and world stage than the group of uh, boxers uh, trained by Billy, White, Billy Welch and his uh, team. Could I, in acknowledging Michael Conlon, his fellow boxers uh, and the team coaches, could I also acknowledge, uh, as Ms. McCarley has, uh, that boxing is very much a, ground, a grassroots sport. 
for all of the big achievements on wider stages. It is in the small stages in our communities across Belfast um, that uh, this sport uh, is played out. There are very significant working relationships between sports and boxing clubs in West Belfast and in North Belfast and in East Belfast. It is actually in the vanguard of showing what can be done in terms of good sport and good community relations. None better than a very small club up on the Glen Road known as Glen ABC, working, out, uh, working from very small premises, uh, but building relationships both within the community and across the city of Belfast. In thanking Michael Condon and Irish Boxing, uh, should we, we should also acknowledge all the other sports people who in recent days and weeks, be it uh, in soccer, rugby or boxing, have lifted the hearts of our people. Thank you. And I call Mr Leslie Cree. Speaker, and I'm pleased to add my voice and that of the Ulster Unionist Party to the words of praise from Michael Conlon, amateur world bantamweight champion. It's not every day you win a world championship in any sport. To do so in amateur boxing, where there's only one world championship, is even more noteworthy. Also, to get off the canvas in the third round, as members will remember, to win against an opponent from Uzbekistan is really quite a feat. I note that Michael has already won Olympic bronze medal representing Ireland at London 2012. Representing Northern Ireland, he has won gold at the Commonwealth Games in 2014 in Glasgow. With Rio Olympics coming up next year, we wish Michael well in his quest to win a gold. After that, who knows, a glittering professional career may beckon. Mr Speaker, it is quite remarkable how many, and other members have referred to it this morning, how many top quality boxers are produced in this part of the world? We go back to Johnny Caldwell and Rinty Monaghan, not that I remember all these myself, and more recently Barry McGuigan, Dave McCauley, Wayne McCullough, Eamon Loughran, Brian McGee and of course Carl Frampton. We should all be proud to be associated with sporting success in this country. We have world champion boxers, golfers, motorcyclists and a football team that is going to the European Championships and we should cheer them all on. It is my great pleasure today to say well done to Michael, world champion, and best of luck for Rio in 2016. Thank you. Mr. Trevor Lunn. Now, on behalf of the Alliance Party, I would like to join in the congratulations to Michael Conlon. Uh, Ms. McCorley, in introducing this matter, said that West Belfast would be proud of him. Well, of course they would. But so would Northern Ireland and so would the island of Ireland, because he's a credit to his sport. He seems like a fine young man. He interviewed after his, his fight very well, a very modest, very unassuming lad. And um, I would certainly wish him well for next year when he'll be uh, representing Ireland again at the Olympics. His, his record to date, others have mentioned it. <coughs> Excuse me. He, he, he got the Olympic bronze, actually as a flyweight in 2012, and he's moved up a division, which doesn't always work out, but it certainly worked out for Michael. The, uh, the, the, the club that he comes from, and the other clubs around Belfast, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my under, I don't know much about the boxing clubs, but my understanding is, and what I've seen up here in terms of questions and comment about them, is that they, they operate on a shoestring. The conditions are not, not as they should be, and yet our, our boxers, whether they come through the amateur ranks and proceed into the professional ranks or stay as amateurs, I, they, frankly, no pun intended, punch above their weight. And uh, uh, Mr. Cray has mentioned the, the catalogue of other uh, heroes. He didn't mention Freddie Gilroy, and I can remember him. I'm sure you can too. The, um, we, we have a proud tradition here. And it's, it's a very, very useful tradition in terms of, of uh, the, the social mix and the way that uh, boxers conduct themselves. I think it's one of the more worthwhile sports. And um, I would love to see St John Bosco and Holy Family and whatever other clubs there are in East Belfast. There's one in Lisburn. Uh, get, getting a bit more attention, a bit more investment to try and promote this sport further. That it is a success story, and we should be proud of them. Whether they represent 
the UK, Northern Ireland, or Ireland, frankly, it's irrelevant. I don't know everybody will agree with that, but um, it's a great sport, and Michael Conlon's a credit to it. Thank you. And, uh, I noticed that all of the speakers said he was the first male and forgot to mention Katie Taylor who won five world champions as well. So I think that uh, we do have a lot to celebrate on this island. That concludes this uh, item of business.